Welcome everybody to Got a Lot in Our Minds. Kels, what episode is this? Seven. Seven. Thank you. I can't count that high. It's all right because I put up the finger finger sign for eight. So yeah, <laughs> we're, we're starting off well. Welcome everybody to episode seven of Got a Lot in Our Minds. My name is Stevie B. You can follow me on Twitter at stov one one eight nine zero. My co-host. What's going on? This is Kels. You can find me at Iconic Visions or Kels five five. At Kells55 at Iconic Visions, IconicVisions.com. Yes, Make sir. Make sure you purchase your power team now. Yes, sir. And our very special guest for this week, shout out to Kells, he booked her. She hey. is a <laughs> she is a very special friend, very special friend of the podcast. She is a podcaster, a um a sneakerhead. She is a dental hygienist. She is a she should be a life coach, in my opinion. In your um, <laughs> She is a vlogger, a YouTuber. She is Talia. Hey. Podcast. Now, I don't want to. I don't want to disrespect and mispronounce your last name. So you can. I want you to do it. It's okay. It's Majdalawi. Yeah, Majdalawi. <laughs> Majdalawi. Majdalawi. <laughs> yeah, everyone. Everyone butchers the the last name. But thank you guys for having me on here. Uh, you can follow my accounts at art rat tau um that's my personal and my podcast instagram is at talia talks podcast um yeah so those are like my social links i do have a youtube channel uh it's called talia talks you can check it out the link is in my bio um and thank you guys so much for having me i'm excited <laughs> absolutely You're, yes thank you for taking the time to be with us for real appreciate it first and foremost how are you doing I am great. How are you guys doing? Honestly, uh, I'm doing pretty well. That's Can't good. Can't complain too much. That's good. I'm, I'm, I'm like right. nervous. I don't know why. I'm like. <laughs> I'm <just laughs> right, shake it out. Shake it out. Like, shake I don't it out. know. <laughs> I like stuffed five cookies like before this. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I need to elevate my blood sugar. <laughs> you got to stress it. That's or what no, I always do. do. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever you call uh, it. <laughs> Chris knows all about stress eating. Yeah, yeah, I do it like five times a day. <laughs> oh, man. His therapist is little Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> she is a great therapist. Let me tell you. She's always there for me. Little Debbie. Oh, my God. It's been a while since I had one of those. But um, I saw like a post on Instagram. It was little Debbie, the oatmeal um, little patties that they're, they're coming mm. out with like a cereal. Oh, oh really? really? Yeah, with the like cream filled um, oatmeal raisin. Damn. Yeah. They just have so many cereals right now. It's just not even funny. It, it, like anything you can think of is right now is cereal. Yeah. No, it's it's pretty pretty interesting. Um all these cereals, they got pretty creative, so Anyway, <laughs> enough <laughs> about food. <laughs> um so I want to before we get I mean, we can just jump into it. I want to talk to you because you have a lot going on. You're like the like the renaissance woman of 2020 like yeah really absolutely are. like Get out. i was kind of like doing my show prep and like like making notes and i'm like yo she is like non-stop she does everything mm -hmm. thank you thank you so I, I appreciate that the let's let's get into i want to talk to you about your i i believe it's your newest venture but it's your podcast right that's the the latest thing yes that is my latest thing my latest focus right now as you can say <laughs> Um, what do you want to know? What do you want to hear about it? <laughs> I'm down. I'm down for whatever. Ask me. Ask me. What's up? Let's talk. So it's it's Talia Talks, right? <clears throat> T A L I A. Yes. Right. Talks podcast. Yep. Talks podcast, and uh, it's on. I I listen to it on um Spotify, but it's also is it on uh on uh, on Google? Apple on Apple Podcast. So it's on Spotify and it's on um Apple Podcasts. I okay. My link is Simplecast, so I'm I'm really new to this. I'm not a pro or anything, but I did some research, and um, they keep my audio files, Simplecast. Mm. But the the platform is is Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I had to learn that too. Ours is uh, Buzzsprout, but it's like the same oh, okay. thing. Like I mm -hmm. I give it to Buzzsprout, and then they just give it to everywhere else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I I, I um, I've looked that one up too. Uh, yeah, so t tell us what it's about. So it's very, you're uh, very positive, very good messages coming from it. 
inspirational inspirational like Thank it's you. uh i've listened to all four episodes Thank you very much. Um, so it's pretty much like it roots from, I want to say, a mental health aspect, um, mm. just because I've struggled a lot with mental health. And um, honestly, with everything going on um, in society and our everyday lives, our country, um, I just I felt like this was it. This was something that I really, really needed to just do, you know, I, I needed to relate to people, you know, just like me feeling all these different emotions um, on a day to day. And really just I feel like when you come together, you can and you listen to someone else's point of view, you can level up and, and just become a better person. Um, and I just felt like this year has been chaotic <laughs> and um, it just it really it inspired me and, and motivated me, honestly, like you have to make um, flowers blossom and bloom after, you know, the storm and the rain. So that's pretty much what I really did was <laughs> was just kind of put myself out there. And I'm really passionate about people and you know about my feelings because everyone has them but we're just scared to talk about them and open up about them and I think it's just really important to you know come to center and just you know down to earth pretty much like you know come down to earth and 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 listen and and talk about these these issues and our feelings and and so on so you know, I'm I'm nothing like big or great or anything like that, you know, like, uh, but it, it's just, it's a place where greatness, you know, can, can come about, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, not, so, not yet, not yet. Those yeah. are the key words. Yeah. Not big yet. Yeah. Yet. Not yet. So it's, it's coming. It's yeah, coming. no, but you know, same goes for you. I just, I wanted to, you know, really show some, some light and love on, for well on on your podcast um it's great you know it's a great thing that we're using our platforms and our voices um to bring people together you know what i'm saying i i think that's it's just great you know there's so many talented people and artists who just you know the mental health you know what i'm saying like their thoughts are like no i can't do this i'm not good enough um i have too many issues i have too many problems um i'm not cut out for this and in reality it's just it's it's nonsense that we feed ourselves um you know what i'm saying so you guys i just mm -hmm. i look up to you guys too like you know you guys are doing your thing you're doing great i kelly you know me i we kelly and i we've we've done you know great work together and um it's all love and respect um always and yeah so that's really what it's about it's it's just about love you know, so that's that's my story. <laughs> well, what I was gonna say is that um, I feel like you've taken away like the mental health thing and like the self care, like really kind of like cut, like cuts through with your messages, and like you talk about like if you gotta if you want better results, you gotta make better choices, and that may result in like cutting toxic people out of your life. So like you talked about in the one, you're like, nah, like I can't I can't go smoke, I can't go drink, like I gotta. I got to study for this test. Like I got to, I want to ace this test because I know in the long term this helps me get a degree. And then even like, um, you were talking the other one, like you got to, I was listening to the, the 2021 today hmm. and then, um, 2020 was episode three, right? Oh, and then it was the, uh, the hate comments, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 I was listening to that one too. Yes. And you were just like, how am I going to let one comment just destroy everything that I've like thought of and worked towards. And like, I thought that's like a great, strong approach to have, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, no, absolutely. I, it's crazy. Like <clears throat> the hate comment one specifically, like I can't stress enough how, you know, negative negativity for some reason just kind of overcomes the positivity but it doesn't overpower it um mm -hmm. and I really had just a hell of a week and I think everyone goes through it you know and um I, I was feeling discouraged and I'm like I can't 
I can't. I can't do this. Like, this is not why I put myself out there to begin with. I put myself out there to, you know, show that the positivity does overpower the negativity. So, you know, there's always going to be that, there's always going to be the hate, you know, and you just got to small dosage, you know what I'm saying? Take it with a grain of salt and, you know, just keep pushing forward and, and, and moving towards your goals and, and your harvest because everyone has a harvest, you know what I'm saying? You just got to keep pushing towards it and, and working for it because, you know, you got to work for it. So, yeah, I, I, I try not to get discouraged. <laughs> so, yeah. No, you shouldn't. Yours is, I'm yeah. telling you, yours, your, your shit is legit. Like, it's... Thank you. It sends a good message. It connects. It hits. Like you're you're doing good stuff. I want you to, you know, reinforce that to you. You know what I mean. Keep keep working on it. You're yeah. like a guru. You're the guru. <laughs> you're you're, <laughs> you're literally <laughs> speaking the positive words into the world. So it's it's dope to see. And I know that, like you said, we we've been working together for a while. So it's uh, great to see you blossom into this. And thank you. You know, working on something and and fulfilling it and uh i mean i put it on the first episode and i was like damn mm-hmm. she's hitting me with some gems right now <laughs> yeah i put it on uh because you started our, yours like right around the same time we started ours and then yeah i, I went for a run and um uh, chris was like chris sent me he's like yo talia started a podcast too i was like all right bet what's the name of it so then i looked uh got the name i looked up and i went for a run i was like all right cool i'll throw this on while i go for a jog and i'm jogging yeah. and i'm like Damn, oh, I gotta man. <laughs> damn, I gotta do three more miles right now. Yeah. Damn. Get out. You gassing me. <laughs> Not for real. Like there's yeah. there's times when like you can listen to something and you're like, all right, this is cool and stuff, but like there's times when it's like inspirational and like you, I mean you have a short, sweet message too. Like it's it's in a good sweet spot where it's like I mean ours sometimes runs a little bit longer, so hopefully people will that's Chris's to fault. the whole thing. That's yeah, I just like to fault. talk. But I, I love that, like, if I'm on, like, a 15-minute drive or something, I can throw yours on, and then I'm, like, I zone out, and I'm at my destination. I'm, like, damn, that shit's hidden. Yeah, no, thank you. You know, thank you so much. I just, if you, so here's the thing. Um, I feel like when we're so down on ourselves, we don't, like, it's like our soul just wants that outlet you know we got to feed our soul um to become bigger and greater and and just to to really get out that creativity you know because it's in us it's it's in all Mm -hmm. of us but it's like what are we fueling our souls our minds you know that third eye to to really open up and 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 live to our greatest and fullest potential so when i would catch myself in those ruts and just you know, times of frustration, I would go on YouTube, you know, because everything is technology now. So I would search like, you know, motivation and and I would, you know, try to look for, you know, other people who are successful and who have been in in sticky situations. So um, people, I don't know if you've ever listened to Steve Harvey he Mm -hmm. yeah 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 like he's like what he's dope like he literally was homeless he would sleep in his car um when he was very young and little he had a stutter and his teacher um made the class like write what they wanted to be when they grew up and he or what they wanted to do and he wrote i want to be on television she brought him to the front of the class humiliated him like do you really think you could be on tv you have a stutter, so on and so forth. And he followed his dreams and he became, excuse me, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about it's that. All good. He um he became great and, and he proved people, you know, wrong. And he is just fantastic. I look up to him. So I wanted to be a voice for people just like me, you know, women, men of our, you know, age range you could say or you you know what I'm saying to kind of motivate people that you can do it you just it's the mindset you know what I'm saying so that that's really it um no absolutely I think there is so much negativity in the world and it's you can easily be consumed by it oh yeah there's also so much positivity that you just have to feed your mind and soul the right kind of 
meals yeah. in a sense and just I mean you could turn on the news and be discouraged in like 2 seconds. So it's it's what you choose to to listen to, uh read um and then what you also put out and the fact that you're putting out the positivity is also reinforcing other people who listen to you so it's you're kind of getting it's coming full circle no yeah for sure so i mean what do you guys um fuel your souls with <laughs> like what what motivates you chris I mean, fuels honest, his soul with a chinese buffet <laughs> honestly but <laughs> all jokes aside i mean food does make me happy but i mean like music always helps me um and i don't know like i've always had i think like as i've matured I've found ways, I don't even know if I can put it into words of how I do it, but I've just found ways of just like, I guess, telling myself like, these things aren't that bad at this moment. Like, I know there's tons of people who have it a lot worse, so I always feel blessed in where I am right now. Um, And then I've just always been kind of more of a positive person, so I've tried not to let those negativity negativity, uh, affect me. And I know, like, everybody's different. So not every, I can't, like, tell people to do it my way because, I mean, I, I, I only know what works for me. Right. But it works. No, yeah, it, it always works. It uh, works. <laughs> that's it. I mean, that's it. It works. Um. <laughs> what about you, Steve? Uh, I don't know. I'm an ass. <laughs> uh... No, like, I kind of like the same thing with Chris. Like, you know, obviously you have, like, uh, some days are easier than others. Some days are better than others, you know. But you got to kind of, um, there's a saying that it's not, like, it's a common saying. And it's, like, one of those cliche things. But I always say it to myself. And I'm like, this too shall pass. You know what I mean? It's mm, just kind of right. like what I do to, if it's a if it's a tough, like, day, if it's a tough moment at work, um, you know, I just try to say that in my head. Like, all right, this too shall pass. This too shall pass. You know, get through it. Um and like, and I know this is easier said than done. And sometimes you need someone to help flip your mindset. But I always try to keep the mindset like yesterday was a rough day, like from start to finish. It was just one of mm-hmm. those days that like every single thing was like just a headache. And it was making a mountain out of a molehill and just harder than it had to be. And I was frustrated with a member of my family. And I'm just kind of like, all right, this is annoying. This sucks. But I have the opportunity to be frustrated with this person. Some people don't have this person in their life or they've Mm. lost them. So Mm -hmm. I'm like, all right, like I got to keep that in the back of my head. You know what I mean? Um, There's times where I'm doing things and like if I'm at work or if I'm working on a project, uh, I've heard, I forget where I heard it. Um, I think it's from a movie, honestly, like with Morgan Freeman. But like when people like pray, they're like, instead of going like, if you flip your mindset and it's like, like God, give me strength. God, give me patience. Like if you, it's in you. It just has to have the right opportunity to come out and to for you to use it. But like, like, I'll like give me the opportunity to be strong. Give me the opportunity to be patient, and then just be conscious enough that like, you know, let's say you're uh, in the grocery line and like you're like on a time like you got to be out of there in five minutes, and then something happens, and then you're stuck behind like an old lady whose coupon won't work. You're like, <laughs> oh, like th- this is this is my opportunity to be patient. Right. You know what I mean, this is my opportunity to be a good person, and little things like that. You know, they add up. If everyone just did the little things it would it would i feel like it would snowball into something much bigger you know absolutely i i, I couldn't agree more we're just we're tested every day mm-hmm. <laughs> and um you know i it's it's sticky to talk about or to mention but i wouldn't be mentioning it if it wasn't soul food um you got to believe in something you have to believe in something bigger than yourself you know, Mm -hmm. and whatever it is, believe in something and, um, you know, believe that nothing is by accident and, you know, just trust your intuition, trust what you believe in. And, um, you know, like you said, this too shall pass and, and you learn from it. It's, it's a learning experience. And, um, honestly, I just want to throw that out there. It is suicide awareness month. Yes. So, um, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it, it, it is. <laughs> it's Suicide Awareness Month, and I just, I, I've been in in a in in a dark place before, and um, 
I think a lot of people have. Mm-hmm. And um, everyone handles, you know, emotions differently. Um, you know, you mentioned being in ShopRite or in the line of, of a store and, you know, someone forgets their coupon or is having trouble with a coupon. You know, it just, you don't know what that person has been through. You don't know what they're going through. Mm-hmm. Um, and I just feel like we need to be patient with one another, um, with our family members, with our friends, in our relationships. Um, we don't have all the answers and mm-hmm. we're not meant to have all the answers. Mm-hmm. Yep. You know, but if, I believe that. Right. So if we just keep, you know, the real people close and, um, believe in ourselves I think I think you know we can make magic happen so you know we're, we are truly blessed to, to be able to you know have a voice for people who who don't have that voice yeah absolutely so what the before we move on the one thing I was gonna say that I do I like about your podcast is that you share like some of them are not super specific and but like you you share like your experiences. Mm-hmm. Yes, and I know that you're talking about the um, the the conversations you would have with your sister, oh, um, yeah. but it's good because like so, a lot of people go through life thinking that like no one else knows like what I've been through or no one else goes through this. But then like for that one person that might like you have like a very similar situation like that, it's good to share those. You know what I mean? Because that's what people can connect with. Absolutely, um, especially when you're on the other side. Mm-hmm. You know, they always say there's two sides to a story. There's two sides to a situation. And, um, you know, I, we got to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We, we got to talk about these these social issues, these issues in general, um, especially when they're affecting our environment, our home, our workspace. Um, I think it's just unhealthy to not talk about, you know, certain things. And, um, you know, I I did touch base a little bit in my podcast, you know, about the Black Lives Matter movement, about my sister, my sister being, you know, of a darker skin complexion than me and how 2020 has affected, um, Mm -hmm. you know, our our relationship, our conversations. I felt tension in my home. You know, I felt like a lot of these issues are real. And sometimes we're just blind to them because we don't understand what a person has dealt with, you know, due to their circumstances that, you know, they faced or dealt with, you know, and it's common. It happens all the time. You know, racism is is real. It it, it is in this country. It it exists. Mm -hmm. It exists everywhere. Um, Discrimination. It's it's real. It's a real thing. Prejudice is a real thing. Stereotypes. It's a real thing. And um a lot of people don't like talking about it. A lot of people don't like admitting that they were once upon a time, you know, racist or, you know, prejudiced or they made comments. And, you know, it's like when you turn on the news or, you know, you just you see these issues going on in the world. You just kind of have to take a step back and say, what can I do differently or how can I understand what's going on and, and you know, make a little change, even if it's in my own house and around you know, my loved ones, because it's, it's, it's important. And, and I feel like a lot of people just, it's about me, 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 you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And, and, and it's not, Mm -hmm. if you're out in the real world, you're, it's not just me, 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 it's, you know, everyone around you. And, um, you know, I, I've seen it working, you know, as a dental, uh, assistant in the past, I, I've seen it in just any work environment. Um, you know, a lot of unfair, situations you know go down and you know just in conversations um with friends i have friends of all different ethnicities you know um i am half middle eastern and half colombian so i have family members of all different colors and shades and you know backgrounds and stories so i can definitely take myself out of the equation and 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 listen and really really listen i felt like this year has shown me that to just be patient and listen especially my sister you know what I'm saying I mean she's my sister and and I look up to her so I I I feel like you know I I feel a little little smarter you know what I'm saying (laughs) I I feel a little smarter and um you know it's a learning process it's it's a learning 
process. I had mm-hmm. to That's a, yeah. pick up books and, and, and order books on Amazon, you know, about this topic and, and about race and, and prejudice and all that stuff. We're taught, but we're taught very young and it's kind of just blown away and, you know, but we're taught one side. Yeah, it, it, this, it's it's <laughs> to real. Be, to be frank, yeah. And you know, man, I'm still I'm still learning. I'm no, still... yeah, it's a it's an en- never ending process. And I mean, I think what you touched on with the understanding is a a great aspect because a lot of times we're just so stuck in our own ways that like, and I think also the fact of like a lot of this stuff is so uncomfortable that we just shy away from it. So instead of attacking it even like the root of the problem we're just like surface level like we'll do little things to change it but it's not really addressing the full and full encompassing aspects of like what's going on and i mean to honestly to to get to a better place you have to have that understanding you have to realize that your perspective is not the only one and you have to be willing to make those changes right You 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 have to look at yourself in the mirror sometimes or all the time for sure. Sometimes you may not like what you see, so then you just change change those aspects of yourself and make it better. Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, <laughs> like, I I remember this past, what was it, two days ago, I went mm-hmm. out to eat with my with my family. And, um, you know, my, my sister starts talking, like, politics. And I'm, I, I tell my <laughs> sister, I'm like... I'm like, dude, can 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 I just enjoy my dinner? And I didn't mean <laughs> to come off like rude. Disrespectful. Or I, anything, yeah, no, yeah. I I just I really wanted to just talk about something else, but yeah. politics and some. Sometimes you need that that outlet away from it. Yeah, and she was. <laughs> <laughs> she, she got so angry at me. She didn't talk for the rest of <laughs> for the rest of the <laughs> dinner, and you know, I I just I don't know, man. I. I th- I mean, I definitely think there's a balance. Sometimes you can stray away from that topic for like a meal. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, honestly, I don't even know. Like, I, I, I just, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I just don't know, you know? Well, and- it's so, it's, especially in today's um, day and age, it's that topic. Like, especially if you get into politics, because politics now is, is a whole different ball of wax with everything else that's now wrapped up into it. You know, you're not even just, it's not even like talking about like, Hey, listen, like the, the state taxes and the school taxes and, um, international trade. Like we're not talking about that with politics. It's wrapped up into like humanitarianism and, and, uh, should like you or should you not and, wear a mask? So yeah, like it, it, so it, that is a very, very heavy subject to talk about, especially constantly. And if you constantly talk about it, it'll start weighing on your mind in the wrong way. Right. You know what I mean? So the, like, there there does have to be a healthy balance between, you know, talking about the heavy shit and, you know, talking about fluff, you yeah. know, talking about the, the funniest dog video you saw online, you know, like there has to be a, a balance between the two, whatever you talk about, you know what I mean? No, yeah, ab- absolutely. I mean, I, it's, 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 it's a tricky, it's a tricky time and uh, it's a sensitive time. So mm-hmm. I just you know you don't need a degree to to um to be human so i i i I do like that no yeah it's it's true like i I, you know you got to educate yourselves and 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 do your own research like you know i i've been doing that um i've been doing my own research and and just taking it a day at a time because Mm -hmm. man like I, I just right now I'm, I feel like I need to take a deep breath just thinking about <laughs> you know <laughs> politics and and all that. But so I mean, if you don't mind me asking, are you guys even voting? Yeah, I'm gonna vote. Okay. Yeah, I do plan on voting. All right, cool. Mm-hmm. I plan on voting. I'm just you know, I'm just planning on voting. <laughs> I'm scared of the results, but you know, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm yeah, gonna vote. <laughs> you know, I've never really been so. Like, I've never had such an anticipating feeling for an election like this one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is crazy. I know. I'm like, what's going to happen? Every day there's something new. And it's like, mm-hmm. it can't get any worse. Like, like what, truly, like, what's going to happen? It's it's crazy. And then you think about, like, people with power, like these celebrities, like, drifting on the convo. Like, what are they thinking? 
you know like what what are these celebrities thinking i I just wonder like what are their conversations like (laughs) are they just in an island just chilling and not giving a shit or are they actually you know i know my girl rihanna Mm -hmm. she she is like heavy you know just anti she takes care of her people yeah she she's dope and um okay you know, I don't want to say anti-Trump or anti, you know, Biden. I don't know every, to each his own, but you know, I no hate over here. But um, my girl Rihanna is is big on like anti-Trump and stuff. I'm like, she's really the only celebrity I've seen. Like, I don't know if you guys know of any celebrities who who you no, admire. I mean, a, a lot of the basketball players, because of everything that's going on, have been in the streets protesting. Um, with the whole NBA bubble, um, the Milwaukee Bucks actually were the first ones to boycott the game. Um, right. And then literally from that, it kind of spiraled into the WNBA, MLB, and everything kind of took the stand. And then even back when it first started, I know the WNBA were a real uh, starter with, I forget exactly what they did, but they did something that was really monumental at that time. Mm. Um, but like LeBron's been very, very vocal Um George Hill was kind of like the first one on Milwaukee to to really like kind of say like uh, we shouldn't play kind of thing um, because of everything that happened. But yeah. um, I mean, I, I follow some people on Twitter that still that voice their opinion. Um, and I think uh, Taylor Swift is very adamant. Mm. Um, but yeah, I mean, we'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's. Now, so, just to – we got stray, heavy real we can, quick. We can stray away yeah, from no, that. We, I think no, yeah, that's a good segue. <laughs> we got heavy real quick. No, but, you know, I Which mean – It's good. It's, it's, um, no, it, it no, is good. Like, that's not a bad thing. No. You know what I mean? No, it's, it's definitely good. The one thing I did take away from that that, like, piqued my curiosity there was you said that you were Colombian and Middle Eastern. I am Colombian and Middle Eastern, yes. The food in your house has got to be fucking bomb. Oh, yeah. Like, it's got to be so fucking good. <laughs> the food in my house is bomb. It really <laughs> is. Um, honestly, my dad is Middle Eastern and my mother is Colombian. Um, but, it, man, it's nothing like touching down mm. in in the Middle East and, and seeing my family and, and eating all the good what? stuff. I, I wanted to bring that up because you went to Jordan, right? Is that where you went to? Yeah, I I went to jo- to uh, excuse me, I went to Jordan. When was it? In January? No, I went December of 2019, mm. and I got back January of 2020, and then everything went to shit. No. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> um, no. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. I. It's it's dope, man. My it's it's the food is so good over there. It, it really is. But um, you know, that's another thing. I just you humble yourself when you get out of this this country you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. like it, it's just it's a humbling experience um my family out there they're they're great you know they don't they live for today you know what i'm saying like they do the best they can for today to um live in the now um while we're over here focused on you know our bills and 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 just who what when we're gonna marry who we're gonna marry what's gonna happen oh my god you know like it's it's just crazy like i feel like society here in this country just puts people in into boxes and mm. and we just you know we, we kind of have to live up to this american dream expectation and and times are changing you know T- times are changing so when i go over there to the middle east it's 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 such a pleasurable you know, time. I I really do enjoy going out there. You guys got to go, man. You got you got to check out the Middle East. <laughs> the, the, the funny thing oh, yeah, is, absolutely. I literally just got my passport in March. Oh, and then, you can't go nowhere. Can't go nowhere. Yeah, no. I was so pumped to get it. Like I've been telling myself I was gonna get it for like the past ten years, and then finally came. And then it was like two weeks later. It was like no international travel. I was like. Yeah, no, the the Middle East is 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 dope. Like nice. and I I have I have a friend. She um, you know, a couple people, not just a friend, but you usually hear people are like Middle East, oh my god, you know, and it's like, you know, people kind of freeze up. Gets get such a like bad rap. Yeah. Yeah, and it's like, you know, we we need to get out of the the, the mindset that, you know, things that we hear about, the misinformation that, that we get 
from people and just society is just it's wrong yeah, yeah. so um yeah that that's that <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That's so cool, though. That's so dope. Thanks. Thanks. No, thank you very much. I actually, you know, there's so many people in the Middle East with um, with dreams. And um, it's unfortunate that it's very, very hard. Mm. So when we're given an opportunity in the country that we're blessed to be in and we don't take it, it's 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 sad, you know. And, and I'm sorry to touch base again on on this, you know, I feel like I'm touching on immigration right now, but Go you on. know, political political talk, but no, it's, you know, I don't know. I right now I, I, every day I think about just how can we unite? You know, how how can we how can we just be better for for people and be set an example, you know, like for people around the world, you know, our society, people in general, men, women, um, whatever it is, you know, people just have dreams. And, and it's like, I feel like if you're, you know, let's just say Muslim or Middle Eastern or, you know, it's like, oh, well, you can only do Muslim and Middle Eastern things, you know mm. what I'm saying? Or, mm -hmm. you know, if you're a male, you can only do things that a male has to do. You know what I'm saying? You can't be... Um, I don't know, sweet and, and, and kind and write poetry. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, no, you can be whatever it is that you want to be, you know, no matter where you come from or, you know, whatever it is. Like, just, I don't know. I just, perception. It's all about perception. <laughs> but Oh, yeah. I mean, I'll tell you the first, um, I've been to Dominican Republic twice. and the, But the first time, I mean, it was both times, it was more or the same thing. But the first time I went, um, I'm driving by and you hear that, you you know, you hear things that like, you know, it's considered like third world country, I believe. And like it's, you know, poverty stricken and there's not a lot of resources because it's such a small island. Right. Or country. I'm sorry. Um, but you're like, oh, OK, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I, I've seen movies. I've seen the way it's depicted. Like, you know, <laughs> and you get there and like there's literally people like, you know, no shoes, no shirt. Their pants are tattered. They're literally living in like like huts. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And like it, it was. It, it took me for such a trip that I needed and I was, like you said, just so humbled and I know I work with a guy, or I used to, but I still work with his wife. He is an immigrant from uh, the Dominican Republic and he came over here and he worked in restaurants as a cook and then his sister opened a restaurant and now he works for like the hospital and like he's, you know, he's, he's doing the American dream. He's working his way up. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And, but I'm just like, wow, like he, like from what he came from, from what I saw to um, where he is now, you know, and obviously like the, the heavier parts of every country are going to look, you know, um, I think uh, it's Santa Domingo is the, the capital there, but it's obviously a little bit more, there's more money in there because that's where everybody is. But then you get, you get to the outskirts, it's a little bit rougher, but yep. I'm like, wow, like it's, you know, like uh, he, he came here to make something of himself and like, he speaks English and he's a little bit of an accent, but he also speaks fluent Spanish. Yeah. And just like with immigration, like my father was an immigrant mm. and like I've always, I've always been pro immigration. Like that's what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be the melting pot. Everyone comes here. Everyone gets their fair shake. Everyone gets a shot. You know what I mean? Like, absolutely. we would be so much better. Like you said, if we just united and everyone could just grow a little tolerance, grow a little understanding and just, if you understand, it wouldn't even be tolerance. You know what I mean? <laughs> exactly. No, for sure. So, no, absolutely. Um, you know, my, I, I feel like that's the biggest thing, you know, is you come to America to give yourself and your family, your loved ones, society a better life, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, and my dad came from zero. He came to this country with $50 in his pocket. Um, you know, he worked his ass off, you know, mm -hmm. to, to, to be where he is now and to give me the opportunity, you know, he gave me the opportunity to, you know, live, live a good life. And, and my mom did the same, you know, and, and it's, it's insane that, you know, sometimes we just, we're so spoiled, like when we're growing up, you know, that we don't really realize, we don't look back mm. to our roots and 
our history, our, our ancestors and, and our people and just our experiences. And we're, we don't realize how far we've come, you know, mm-hmm. and, and it's like, I don't know. I, I feel like that's what I want to do is, is really, and I do every day I try to do is just think about what my parents went through, you know, and, and what my ancestors went through for me to, to be better, you know? So I, we, we're, we're leaving a legacy, you know, un, until this earth deteriorates and crumbles, you know, we we're, we're, that's what we're doing. We're leaving our mark for our si- younger siblings, our children, our, you know, young generation. So I think what we're doing right now is, is great. You know, we're sharing our stories. We're, you know, we're, we're, we're doing good things and we're giving back to our community, whether it's the, the smallest little thing, you know, um, we're just vibing. Yeah. That, that's what we're doing. Shout out your parents too. They're dope people. I got the pleasure to meet them. Thank you. Thank you. No, yeah, no. My mom, she loves you, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. I think it's cool. That I, I mean, just just to even think about coming to here with $50 in your pocket and like just being able to sustain and become that successful, like that's that's a phenomenal aspect. Like, I give them all the problems. Just I'm, I've had, I, I would not even begin to empathize with that aspect of you know being being away from probably your family being in a different country like that's that's tough yeah no my my dad is one of 12 (laughs) yeah and um he is the only one here so then when you go back there's the other 11 over there yeah and you just have have, that's dope yeah no i you know my whole family is back in in jordan my mom she's an only child she has like step siblings like Mm -hmm. half brothers but you know i'm so close to my dad's family i've been going there since i was 11 Mm. so you know it's man i i can't i can't stress enough like people that come here and and just make whether it's you know $20. $20. They just want to give their family a better life, you know, and, you know, just money to eat. And that's, you know? that's, the, that's the main thing is like, if you're coming here with that little amount, like, everybody's always portrayed in this negative light because they're immigrants. But it's like, like, that's the ultimate story. Like, I mean, you, you're not, you, I don't even know how to put it into words, but like, if you have that little amount of money and you're coming here for something, I don't think you're going to be starting trouble and stuff like right. that. You're coming here to for a better life, you know? Right, right. I don't know. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. just people have to have a opening. They have to open their their hearts in a sense. And some sometimes they have to get out of their own little town or bubble and experience different parts of the world to, you know, get a new new perspective. Right, and because not everybody lives the same way. Right, but. right. It's definitely it's, it's challenging. It, it really is. It's, we're we're very blessed, and um, you know, I I think we're doing great, and we're giving a good message because you know it's it's humbling when you see people really really trying to just live. You know, just just feed themselves. It's it's hard. <laughs> It, it really is hard and fortunately in this country we're, we're given opportunities you know we mm-hmm. just just gotta really work hard and and just be a good person you know uh-huh. I, I just be a good person you know and and that that's really it and just mind your business you know <laughs> that's it like if, if you're not doing anything good or you know if you don't like a, a certain something just go about your way you know in your little green hut and and that's it. Just just stay an angry ogre. I watched yes, Shrek. For real. I yes. wa- I watched Shrek all weekend. No, that's, <laughs> that's great. That's I love that. We movie. were just watching Shrek like two and three. Like I think it was like last weekend too. Yeah. Or last. Yeah. We went on TV. It's a classic. Um, not to derail from that, but uh, uh, yeah, for real. Like I n- I've never understood that. Like that's always been my mindset. Like if you want to practice whatever religion you want to believe in, uh, whatever sexual orientation you want to believe in, like. You know, to each his own. Do what you want to do. As long as you are not 
you know, physically harming another person in this world, I never see the issue with it. You know what I mean? No, mm-hmm. absolutely. Yeah. Like like you said, mind your business. Yeah. For real. <laughs> I think Jesus Christ. Yeah, no, I I think that's the biggest thing and especially I just want to, you know, gear off, but you know, men and women definitely face these, you know, challenges and um I feel like it's so competitive when you are dealing with the same sex. You know, mm-hmm. just talking feminism or what do they call like feminism for men? And is there a is there a word for I I don't I don't straight know. white male. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, you know, I feel like it's just I know what you're saying though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just so competitive and it's like why? Like why? We're all different. We all offer, you know, different things and you know, it's like why like women competing against women and and men competing against men like which I find it's more in the women in community. Um, but I grew up with like with with my brother and um, you know, I have a lot of male cousins, but it's like it's cutthroat, you know, it, it's very just cutthroat. And it's like that's why I keep my circle small, you know, mm-hmm. very, very small. So, you know, what well, you talked about, about like before, like looking at like celebrities and just even if they're not celebrities, if they're like uh let's call them influencers or whatever they are now. People like, with a good following. Yeah, you know, something like that. Like, you know, I pay. I try to pay attention to and look at the example of certain people that may have a bigger audience than whatever we have, you know, then, mm-hmm. but the example they're setting, like, are they, are they working with people? Are they promoting people? Are they showing love? Or are they trying to shit on other people? Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. that tells me a lot about who they are and what they're, I consider their product to be, mm-hmm. you know? And like, to me, like to you, it's like, why... We, we can all eat here. We can all do this. There is enough room. There really is. You know? Yeah, it doesn't absolutely. always have to be cutthroat. It doesn't... We can all make this a bigger, better place. Absolutely. Definitely. And it's easy to support people. Like, it's really not that hard at all. Like, and I'm very, like... I go by feelings and emotions. And mm. you can tell when someone really likes you. Or likes your content. Or supports you. Like... I have a a friend of mine, (laughs) shout out Selena (laughs) Torres, Um, you know, she, gang, 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 gang. I've known her since like fourth grade. (laughs) I haven't seen her. She like moved um, to Mexico and she like always promotes my content. Like, and I'm just, I'm so Mm -hmm. like humbled. Like, it's just dope. And, you know, shout out Jess Botens. I, I know she's. She's on here um, on the live. I still have my live. Shout out to hey. all you checking out the live. Um, but it's just, it's amazing dope, dope, dope. when you, you, you get love from people that you just don't, you least expect it. Like, you're just like, oh my God, you, you like, mm-hmm. you, you like it really? And it, it's just, it's, it's uplifting. You know, that's what keeps you wanting to, you know, continue creating content and just promoting your work. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. You become very, like... Absolutely. I feel like with, like, especially with, you know, being, like, a creative and art and with, like, expressing yourself in some type of... With this, it's, like, almost like a public form, you know what I mean? Like, you... It's easy to get... To doubt yourself and what you're doing if the people in your closest circle, you feel like, aren't supporting it, you know? No. But when they are, yeah. it 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 helps a lot. It really does. For sure, no, it it definitely um, it it definitely helps for for sure. It, I don't know, I don't know if you guys really encounter like just people trying to rain on your parade, or have encountered it, but it's just it's such bad juju. It's like the worst feeling ever. The we- I would say the weird thing is like, I I don't I don't really like come across hate. It may not just be like people um, like just kind of and it's nothing bad. Like this is not like a gripe or anything. It's like just people like, let's say, Mm -hmm. shadow following you like they may they might not like a comment on anything, but like they'll still like I had one person tell me like that my content was dope and I've just never like seen a like on them or anything. So, I mean, still to me, that's just that's still like, oh, that's still dope that they're checking it out. You know, I don't think you always have to equate the likes or the comments to like you're doing a good thing kind of or like your work is be mm-hmm. resonating with people 
Um, I think sometimes we get wrapped up in that. So that's always like, you just got to keep going through that. But I know on like Twitter and just YouTube and Facebook, the amount of hate I see on, on some things. And it's just like, why? I mean, I, I, I was young once and I, I mean, obviously we're all human. So there, there have been comments where I regret and, and stuff like that. But as I grow and mature, I don't have time for that anymore. <laughs> Kelly, you, you used to you used to shit on people's parade? Rain on people? Yeah, mine. <laughs> yeah, well, I still do because we're such good friends. We know when we're joking with each other. So, um, oh, Mike and Iker want to get on the podcast now. <laughs> Um, I love your shirt, Kelly. Bless. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yes, and I actually just posted that was the, the back, Steve with the, back the, of the shirt with the Yankees? I posted today. Oh, uh, it's okay. A dope, it's a dope uh, company I've known for probably like seven, eight years now. Uh, stereotype. Shout but, him out. Sh- stereotype out of Staten Island. Uh, Dave Noodles. He's dope, dope dude. Uh, he's really uh, into giving back to the community, giving back to the world. Um, when I, when you get like. He usually does pop-ups and stuff. They do. Um, and they'll hand out bookmarks. Um, when you order something from them, they send bookmarks too. And like the main slogan is don't stop dreaming. So that's why it's something that always resonated with me. And uh, just he's they've got a lot of dope uh, gear. And I've been supporting them ever since. I What was it? Stereotype? Stereotype Co. So if you go to online, Co. I think it's stereotype.co. Check yeah, them out, I, support him, buy some. I remember you. Um, we were doing a shoot, and uh, you actually, you had me like wear their little scully. Yes, and took a yes. Piece. yeah. The yeah, one I the remember. Heart. Th- yep. Yes, yep. <laughs> I I remember that. Um, so yeah, they're all about like positivity and and just they have a great message. So um, just always yeah. somebody that I love to support. For sure. Um. I also actually real quick and we can yeah. get into this we can go into the next topic. Uh yeah, congrats I, I'm, on, I'm 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 having on, fun with you guys. <laughs> c- congrats on graduating dental hygienist school. I know it's Woo! like a weird Yay! time to uh to finish it off and I know it probably wasn't what you were uh anticipating but uh I just want to say proud of you for finishing and I know you Perhaps. had to deal with a lot <laughs> and all the the days you were like oh I'm studying for this exam. <laughs> I'm doing this, so just um, want to say congrats and and that's really dope. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, shout so out to you because I remember we met because we I forget what class it was, com what or whatever, and you were like my juice buddy. Me and you like I feel like we shot the most juice segments we for student did. lines with each other. Yes, right. We, it was always me and you partnered up. <laughs> so that's how I got to know you. Yes, you were and then great. We're talking, and you're like, oh yeah, like I'm double majoring, I'm doing this, and I'm doing dental hy- dental um, hygiene, hygienist. Yes. Yeah, dental hygiene, and I'm like. Whoa, 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 like same thing, same time, like, and you were like, yeah, and I'm like, holy Jesus Christ, and then she's like, I'm like, where are you from? I'm like, and you're like, Yonkers. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa yeah. stop pressing. Yeah, that too. So you're driving over an hour up here too? <laughs> yeah, like that's props. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. So no. shout out to you for for following through, continuing it, accomplishing it. Props. That's what's up. Thank Believe you me, I, I live. I was lived like five minutes. Oh, sorry. Hard. Go on, go on. It was so hard. It was, it was, it was really hard. Like it was not easy. But I had a vision. I had a goal, and um, my media family. Like I, I honestly, I never graduated from the program in SUNY Orange, but from the the media program, I think I have one semester left if I really wanted to um, finish. But that. F- like that's family right mm-hmm. there. <laughs> like you don't understand, you know, what I was dealing with. But going there and and just being able to, you know, see you guys every time that we got up and and had class and you know, shout out to Mark. Like he he's dope and um, you know the whole class. It's just you know Laura. It's just amazing how you guys really you know just inspired me. You know, we, we all have, have a dream and it's beautiful to see people, you know, collabing and, 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 you know, hustling pretty much like I freaking graduated. Holy crap. You know, and, and you guys really played a part in that. And, and I thank you so much because honestly, 
that program, the dental hygiene program is so competitive. Like they were only 20 seats and I was taking media classes to, you know, just wait it out and see if I got in. And, you know, I, I did, which is why I didn't finish um, media from SUNY Orange. But um, it's dope. It, it all worked out. And thank you so much for the love. Yeah, I mean yeah i actually Definitely. props to you <laughs> thanks i got i got hired i start my job on hey, monday let's go Woo! so hey there it is yeah so it's you know i'm i'm still doing like youtube and and stuff like that my podcast like it, it's just a schedule right now but i have a goal mm -hmm. i have a vision and um i think time management like oh my god time management so hard but you know just fighting the demons and and staying on schedule <laughs> That's it. Um, yeah, that that's pretty much it. <laughs> well, you touched on something that I want to talk about now because you, um, obviously you graduated and I want to talk about that and you, it's tough, but also you have now wrapped that into, you've kind of morphed the two of them and you, you've wrapped your dental, um, hygiene into your YouTube channel. I did. I, I did. Which is... I thought it was smart and it was unique and it was a very, I thought it was a cool idea. You know, Steve, I actually, like, when I was looking into the dental hygiene program, if you look into Google or Google search, YouTube search, it's so hard to find dental hygienists who are starting from the very, very bottom prereq, you know, start. And that's why I just put my journey and myself out there to help other, you know, aspiring dental hygienists, you know, get through the process and, and conquer and tackle these prereqs because it's not easy. So I just literally was like, this is me on YouTube doing this. I love the arts and I'm just putting myself out there with dental hygiene because it's something that I really want to mm -hmm. do. And I'm also very passionate about it. And I had so many people, yeah. advisors telling me, you have to pick, just be you have to pick a road. You can't be a dental hygienist and be an artist. You, you just can't do it. And I'm like, dude, I took acting, you know, for four years um, mm -hmm. I, I, I did media, Just because you know, you I, I did biology it I and it's something that I enjoy doing. Why, why do I have to put these, these barriers and, and, you know, walls up? We, we, we can do whatever we want. Yeah. So yeah, for real, honestly, that's something that I'll just never forget is being in front of an advisor and being let down, you know, and, I can't stress enough the amount of rejection letters that I got. I got rejected mm, three mm. times from the program. Um, and my fourth time, I got in. Um, Stuck with it. I Stuck was waitlisted, but I got in. <laughs> I got in. Hey. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm still doing this, which is what I love. And I love people. So I, I just, it all ties together like it, it just I'm, I'm serving my community and and just that that's it's amazing it, it really is i'm not me i don't have a dollar to my name you know i'm broke mm -hmm. i'm broke out here <laughs> but you know what i'm saying it's like you got to start somewhere and and i feel like if you're doing what you love it's not work so mm -hmm. yeah so yeah it's it's awesome well you could be serving your there's two there's like more than one community you could be serving there's obviously like your in-person community if you're like the local dental hygienist you serve people in person like that community you know that you physically live in but then now with your youtube channel you're serving another community the online community of people like either in dental hy dental dental hygiene or want to get into it like that's a community right there you know may not be the biggest may not be the smallest but that is one and you're serving that community too just by putting these videos up and like i said sharing your personal experiences now like if, if like from the start of the journey then to like finishing it like i graduated now you're moving on to a job that, like there could be another girl out there who just got rejected for the mm -hmm. third time and then mm -hmm. but they hear your story and you're like okay she got in the fourth like it is possible let me, like you let gotta me keep, keep pushing. pushing let me push you know? it. no ab absolutely and you don't understand how much love i get and like you said it's it's not it's not so huge my community like it's it's not the biggest you know but it's growing you know and and those yeah. small you know 
those few people that really, really love my content, support me and understand the journey, the process, the work, it's just, it's so relatable. And I, I think that's huge when you can just relate, like how we're relating right now and just talking and vibing. It's just, I think that it, it's, it's, it's rewarding. It really is. I think where you started and where you are now, it's, it's, it's come a long way. You, you're doing, you're doing some numbers. So you got to keep it up and Thanks. you know and what i will say too is i had the pleasure of getting my teeth cleaned well at, during the uh the suny orange days yes um, yes I, and i will i will i will let the world know that it was one of the smoothest processes <laughs> even even better than like my regular dentist so just throwing that out there man it was i couldn't have done it without you she was she was like are you sure i'm joking around not hurting you i'm like, like good right now i don't feel nothing You know, I, I couldn't have done it without you. And you're pretty healthy. You're healthy. I don't think you had any cavities. Thank you. Thank you. His teeth are healthy. Let's be specific I've, here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. His teeth other are healthy. Things, my eating habits are not, but my teeth He's are healthy. He's going to fucking clog an artery one day, man. <laughs> I, I've, had, I've had a cavity. That was it. But, like, there was there was times when she was, we were talking and saying things. And, obviously, I don't know the terminology. And I was like, oh, my God. Am I Am I dying? what's going no. on here <laughs> but, no you know it, it was it was a you know it, it was intense like you had to you know i can't believe all these words that i had to know and understand like you know four dice granules um or yeah. or you know keratinization Same. or you know papilla and it's like oh my god like i'm saying it right now but i i I get it, you know, and, and it's yeah. It's like with anything. I'm 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 talking dental hygiene now. I might be boring you, but no. It's with anything, you know, what we learned in new media or with mm -hmm. our experiences working with artists. It's like you know, you know, you you know it. It just comes There's a, there's a terminology natural. to each craft, so. Right. It's like when you're on Premiere Pro or you're on Audition or Logic, whatever it is, you're doing these things and and it, it's a craft. You're learning yeah. it, you get it, and it's it it just you just got to perfect it. Right. And it's, it's amazing. Like I, it's, it's, it's also it really is. It's also funny too, because like when you go to your normal dentist, you know, they just bullshit you and they'll have the normal conversations, you know, like, Oh, how you doing? Like what's new in life kind of thing. But they're not like going into that terminology aspect for when you go to the student side, you know, you're hearing that kind of thing. And it's like a different, whole different world. And it was just really cool to experience because you, you're like, I don't know what's going on right now. They're saying some words. Yeah, you see me in like scrubs and it's a completely see. And I think that's that's the biggest thing. I'm so happy that we touched on this. It's like I am a professional at work mm -hmm. and I wear scrubs and I look all scientific or whatever you want to call it. But when people see me outside of scrubs, they're like, dude, how old are you? Like, mm. You know, mm -hmm. you know, you're rocking whatever you're rocking. But that's the thing. It's like people put you in boxes. Yeah. They, they, There's... they, you know, say, okay, you're a hygienist. You can't do anything else. You need mm -hmm. to just be a hygienist, you know, and, and this is what you do. Even though you love doing what you're doing, there's also more to you. Exactly. And exactly. That's actually kind of like what I, I, I mean, that's not anything that I was going <laughs> to even think about touching, but there was a, uh. Yes, yes. No, I, I did see that the teacher on OnlyFans. <laughs> I mean, that's wild, you know, and I it, mean, it is wild. Hey, it's I don't, an, it's a... that's wild. I don't want to be that, you know, woman that bashes another woman. I don't want to be that woman. But I must say, you know, you're come on. That's a little it's, that's it's, that's it's a, a little, little ridiculous. You know, t we're talking about the um 
the teacher that was caught on OnlyFans. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Mr. O'Brien, what's up? <laughs> um, how do you feel about that, Mr. O'Brien? You're a teacher. I, I don't mean to put you on the spot, but there was <laughs> – my, my fifth grade teacher is on – well, he was actually one of the fifth grade teachers in my elementary. He's on the live right now. But there was a teacher who – uh, got fired from her job because she created an OnlyFans account, um, you know, which the the account is like explicit pictures and whatnot, which, you know, hey, I don't knock a woman's hustle. I don't knock a man's hustle. But when you're a teacher, you have to be, I feel, and even as a hygienist, you have to be cautious of, you know, what you're putting out into the world and and the internet and you know mm-hmm. i i kind of was conflicted when i started doing my asmr videos <laughs> yeah um yeah you know i've seen some of them <laughs> <laughs> they're super weird okay they are super weird but they're they're cool they're fun and you know i just i'm not exposing any you know thing crazy you know in the sense where i still have to keep you know things what is the word assertive you know Mm -hmm. i have to still be you know respectful to my career my and and just myself i feel you know not that having an only fans is Uh disrespectful i'm not saying that but you have to be conscious of of you know when when you started to do that did you kind of like grapple with that like did you toss it back and forth before actually like putting it out there where you're like oh maybe this will receive some backlash kind of thing or is it just like, I'm going to keep it this way so that I can be all right? So I, okay. <laughs> so here's the thing. With with the ASMR, I have, I, let me tell you, I've gotten some requests, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I've gotten some really weird requests. Um, I saw someone, he wrote like, can you duct tape your whole, like around your entire head? <laughs> And I mean, like, <laughs> to each his own. Like, I mean, I just, I literally today, I just learned what these videos kind of are. But I'm like scrolling through the comments. And I'm like, all right, let's, let, you know, like, they're not for me. But like, again, like I said, to each his own. I don't care. But, and then I read that comment. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, no, I, you know, what's crazy is that there are people on ASMR, like YouTube ASMR videos who like they dress up in like this dominatrix or like a thong and they start like smacking their own behind and like, oh, okay. you know, trying to pleasure the screen. It's it's really intense, but I didn't know any of this information. <laughs> I just, I kind of just, <laughs> I didn't know any of this information. Like people really do this, but the, you know, I just thought my request was innocent, like just duct tape your mouth. But it makes really cool sounds. It it really, really does. But you know, I don't think mm-hmm. it affects what I do for a living. Like I don't think it affects my yeah. profession in any way because that's not what I'm portraying in in the video. And that's the thing with people. They just they 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 judge you. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, hey, to each his own. <laughs> but you know, I'm I. I don't know. I have, um, I must say, there's just some certain things that I just would not do. I had someone comment, <laughs> I had someone comment, like, can you make an OnlyFans and for your feet? Oh, and that's I, real shit. You know, I was actually Yo, thinking about it. I'm like, secure shit. Secure that bag. Secure <laughs> that bag. I'm like, like, I'm like, you know what? That's not bad. OnlyFans for a, your feet. but That's a come up right there. You know, it's crazy, like, how much money... I worked with a girl who did that. Yeah. It's she crazy made... how much money people can make from that. Yeah. yeah. It's it's insane. It, it really is insane, you know, like, how much money people make off we'll that. Spend. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll spend. We'll spend for some feet. <laughs> for some feet. <clears throat> for feet. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. It, it really is crazy. But, you know, you can't knock. You can't knock anyone's hustle. You can't. No, I think I think I would knock the person paying for it more. How did you? That, that's who I would knock. How did you get into the AS? Um, I don't want to say this MR. <clears throat> ASMR, right? ASMR. That's the, uh, how how did mm. you get into that? Like, how did the, that even come about? So ASMR. So if you guys don't know, I have you know you hear this thrown around a lot, but I was actually diagnosed with. Um, anxiety and depression um I was medicated for a while and you know I'm I'm 
healed and, and I'm still healing so I can talk about it. But um, I'm not medicated or anything like that. But I mm-hmm. started to not be able to sleep at night and um, getting really anxious. Like my anxiety I felt was like on 100. So I'm like, I go on YouTube because I YouTube everything. And I'm like, triggers for... Um, or like sounds or something like sleep sounds or whatever and I ended up bumping into like ASMR for sleep or ASMR for anxiety Mm -hmm. ASMR for depression ASMR for you know and I started doing my research and ASMR is actually really a calming thing so instead of like you know doing meds or you know taking meds which there's nothing wrong with that but I, I, I want to refrain from that personally for my own personal reasons. What can I do to, you know, help me sleep or what can I do to help me, you know, with my anxiety or whatever? So whether it's candles, incense, you know, or ASMR videos, this is what I'm going to do. And I'm sure it'll help other people with, you know, things except, you know, with, with these with anxiety or insomnia or whatever. And I kind of just put my own twist to it. Yeah. So I, I make it more artsy and artistic and. I got this cool tripod, so I put it in like different angles and stuff, and I catch different visuals, and I think it's it's, <clears throat> excuse me, I think it's really cool. Like you can, you know, experiment with it. So it that that's how I got into it, honestly. That's cool though that you like found it, and then that's dope. You're like you know yeah like I said you took the the kind of the step, and then you're like you know I'm gonna give this a shot. I'm gonna do it. And yeah. Your your videos have like thousands, mm-hmm. multiple thousands of views on them. Like, they are nothing to right. They're pretty popping. Thank you. Yeah, actually, um, my my cousin is on here, on the live. He's saying kef talia. Hi, Habibi. <laughs> this is my cousin. Um, uh, so Yo. yeah, mm-hmm. no, I mm-hmm. I got like freaking almost twenty thousand views on one video. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. And I'm like, mm-hmm. oh my God. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, dude, that's a lot of people like seeing this video. And it's it's crazy. It the numbers are really moving up. And I'm like, I did not expect, you know, all these views and you know, I the comments, you're gonna have nice comments, you're gonna have, you know, really, really mean comments and I got a lot of lot of mean comments. I I must say, like I got, like, mean comments. I felt like I was in middle school again, like just being bullied or, you know, <laughs> um. Sorry about that. I just the mean comments. I don't know if you guys want to hear them, but they were mean. <laughs> but, <laughs> but but I got I got some love. I got some love, that I did, and I feel like YouTube is just. You got to have patience, mm-hmm. you know, because it's it's an algorithm I'm learning. So mm-hmm. with with anything, you know, it's it takes time. You just need consistency and just keep working at it. Yeah, but but hey, it's it's growing. That's what you got to keep doing. Keep working at it. It's growing. Yeah. Do, wait, do you guys have a YouTube channel? I know yes. Iconic Visions has well, one. Yes, Iconic Visions. I think uh, we're looking to get into one. Yeah, I when think f- I was going to say, you guys should totally put your podcasts on YouTube. Mm-hmm. I think that'll be dope. I mean, I know now with like Corona and all that stuff, like you guys are, you know, not meeting up or linking up. But I think it'll be cool to like put Consume, your podcast. Yeah, yeah. That's, if we that's just put the- little snippets of it. So that that's people one of the long term goals. Easier. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. It's, I think it's it's pretty cool. Yeah, we're trying to just you know be consistent with the episodes and then kind of work from there. And you know we're gonna we have a lot of ideas that we want to pursue. So taking it one one day at a time too. No, yeah, for for sure, definitely. I think it, I think it's really cool that you use that because um, I would never think that would help for like sleep and stuff and anxiety and. And depression so i mean that's cool to to find like we were talking about earlier to find like your your way to to go about something you know no yeah absolutely like i feel like just we we need to to find outlets that you know help us that we grow from that we learn from and 
I, you know, whether it's journaling or photography or editing, like I'm sure you guys, when you edit, you're just in your zone and you feel like you ever feel after your your edits, you're you feel like you ran a marathon. Or you're just so drained. Before, yeah. You're yeah, there's times you're like just that. So drained. Times, there'll be times when like I'm I'm like halfway through something and I'm just like I have to get up and walk like pace the house because I feel like it's going well. I tell you, it's it's like such a high. It's a rush, you know, and Mhm. I don't know. It it's it's a it's a great thing. So when we express or release, you know, tension, it you know, they're they're good outlets. So I don't know. Yeah. And I always don't think your writing's dope, so even if you get more into that too at times. Thank you. No, I let mean let the world know. My spoken word is like I don't know. It's a whole nother demon. <laughs> that's that's a whole nother what giant. Is it like this is why I called you the Renaissance woman, because like yeah, you're exactly. literally like in everything. Like Thanks, everything. man. Yeah, no, the spoken word. I I love poetry, man. I I love I love that stuff, and um, I love to write creative writing. I've taken a couple courses in City College um, creative mm-hmm. writing, and it's just so awesome when people like are nodding their heads and like, yeah, I feel you. Or like mm-hmm. even when you listen to other people's work, it's just whether it's music, a video, whatever, it's like, yeah. So art, you could, an artist can do anything really. And, and it's like, it's just expression. So yeah, I, I do spoken word and it's been a while since I've written anything really. Like now I've, I've kind of shifted to like my phone. So I'll just be on my phone and write, you know, little verses and stuff, but I'm not like a rapper or anything. It's just something that, you know, I, I vibe out to, you know, it's, it's therapy. It's a form of therapy. Is there, is there a place or a, uh, a media an app basically what i'm saying that people can find your spoken word that that even if they're a little bit older that is there somewhere that they are that they can go look them up so i have a lot of my work my spoken work i have done with with kelly so Mm -hmm. i just put our work up on on my youtube and um it's on a playlist it's just like um you know pretty much more talks or something because you know the name is tally talks but it's pretty much on there and you know, we shoot little skits of, of my poetry, which is dope. And we haven't done it in a while, but. So we're definitely going to have to get back into it. Is that <laughs> yeah. what you're saying? Yeah. Because that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. No, I'm I'm down for that. That will be dope. Um, definitely. For Don't sure. Worry, we can wear masks and. Yeah. No. Yeah. I mean, it's, man, I, it's, it's dope. Like it, it's, it's nice. I, I love being around artists. Um, I just love it. Like I could literally sit here all night just talking to you guys because we fuel each other, you know, it's, 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 it's a recipe. It's a simple recipe and it's just, you know, pouring out your, your vibes, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Absolutely. It's inspiring. It's another way to, it's another way to calm yourself and kind of like see, like reinforce the fact that like you're doing something that you enjoy, you love and you're doing it well kind of thing. Yeah, no, for sure. I actually, I'm shifting gears if you guys have time, um, I've been pu- putting up like polls on my Instagram um, okay. and like people answer the polls and they're, you know, there was a poll that I put up and it was what turns off a guy, what turns off a girl. Um, I mm-hmm. think also I put up a poll like insecurities and stuff like that. I know, Steve, you're married, so, you know. I, so I don't count. Yeah. I yeah. mean, you know, but. We can kind of talk about it. Let's, you know, let's kind of talk about men's insecurities. And I feel the reason why I want to talk about this, because my latest podcast was hate comments. And I feel like I feel like women are very insecure. Like I've been literally thinking about Botox. I've been thinking about so many things to like shift my face um, this past week where I was literally super down on myself and insecure like do you men feel like that which by the way i'm botox is not in the works i'm just saying this is how far my thoughts go um how do you oh boy. men how do men deal with the insecurities like like my own insecurities or like dealing with other people's insecurities your insecurities like how do men do you feel like how do men honestly i've had the um great fortune of bouncing my 
problems off of other people in a sense um so like if i'm yeah fuck you (laughs) you're not the only one that i go to with my problems (laughs) with my woman woes but um i mean i I, my own insecurities i would probably i don't know like i'm always in my own head kind of thing like does somebody like me am i doing this right in a sense Mm -hmm. um I mean, I think it's it's a weird, I mean, technology kind of makes things like tougher because there's so many different avenues you can go. Like one person could be talking to you for like a day and then like you never hear from them again. So it's like, right. is that a me thing or is it like, I think you kind of have to just know who you are and, and um, kind of like. I like, like that. It's, 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 <laughs> not, it's not me, but maybe it is me. But then it's also like, I don't know. There's a lot of there's a lot of different things that I always go through. No, to, I, to, I hear you, for sure. Um, and I, 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 yeah, go on. No, 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 go on, go on. I oh. want to hear it. Well, I, I've been single for so long, so I know. I try not to like base other things off of how things were, have gone with other people, kind of thing. Like if I'm talking to one person and it didn't work out, I try not to base it off of that. But I also know that my only my own experiences. Like, my only experiences are with, like, this in a sense. So, it's, like, in some sense, I kind of have to base it off of how far I've gotten. Right. Um. So, that's how I kind of try to go for it. And and then, I don't know, I just, I have a couple people that I go to and I'm like, yo, does this seem, <laughs> like, all right? <laughs> like, I talk to Taylor a lot about women, so. She's dope. Shout out, Taylor. Shout out. No, she's dope. I've I've literally asked her like a million times and she's just like, I just don't understand it. I, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. What, what what do you think, Steve? Uh I mean everybody has insecurities, like Yeah. Whether they're like uh <clears throat> physical or like emotional. Um and like I guess one of mine you could say like was been like like my weight, my weight's like a co- the course of my life has fluctuated a lot. And then you just kind of like, I mean, like he says, like, like Chris said, like you got to set, like at some point you got to kind of like to learn, like to learn to love and to like who you are. Right. You know what I mean? And like, I tell people all the time, like, you know, I'm, uh, obviously like you said before, like I'm married, so I'm not currently like, right. Look at like trying to like, you know, uh flirt with other women and stuff like that but the i tell people all the time like i was like <clears throat> like trying to do the bachelor thing and chase people around and then mm-hmm. like i was in a relationship then i got out of a relationship and like as soon as like i just kind of like stopped all like the bullshit you know what i mean like i just got tired of it like i'm yeah i was like whatever you know what i mean i'm just gonna i'm gonna I'm a like who i am you know i'm gonna have fun with my friends i'm gonna you know try to be a good person as much as i can wham found my wife you know what i mean like it was as soon as i stopped with you know like trying to impress other people and trying to do things that i thought other people would like me to do Mm. and key i was just like major key if if i'm gonna do something i'm gonna do it because (laughs) i like to do it or like you know what i mean and then as soon as that happened it was like i found my wife and even for then like i knew we knew each other for years before we actually like started dating you know, like we knew each other and we were friends and we would talk and, but then like, it just, I don't know, it just kind of snowballed and manifested and, you know, uh, but like it, that, that was like kind of like the, to me, like the mental turning point, like shout out Jess too. You got a good wife word. Shout out to the wifey. Um, you know, I, I think you said something so major and so key, Steve, is that when you love yourself, the rest of the world can love you. You know, like you mentioned, not just letting it all just go, accepting who you are, loving who you are, and you found your wife. Um, and that that's that's just awesome. And, and I feel like people in society just put men in like boxes. I, I, I need to say that again. And it's like, they don't realize that men have insecurities too. And and men go through emotional distress and trauma and they feel a lot Roller of pressure. Roller coasters. Roller coasters, you know, they feel a lot of pressure and I feel like women are even more intimidating, 
you know, and, and it's, it's hard to approach women nowadays, you know, and in a sense, like it's very easy, but it's very hard. And it's like, you don't know, you just don't know. So coming to terms with just loving yourself and letting things just, you know, the good things consume you. I think that's, that's a, you know, energy booster. And, and, you know, what can I say? It, it gives you the mojo. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. so that, that's, that's dope. I respect that. But thank you for that. Thank you guys for being vulnerable. I definitely want, you know, to show love to my, to my guys out there too, because men are awesome. Men are dope um, human you. beings. They really are. And I feel like they don't, yeah, they don't get enough sure. credit. They Absolutely. really don't. Um, so yeah. <laughs> well, that's appreciated. Thank you. For sure. Definitely. Um, so now before we wrap this, cause we're running short on time. Yeah. <clears throat> I got one last question for you. If you, if you scroll through your personal, um, Instagram, <laughs> My eyes horrible. there's something that a keen eye can pick up mm-hmm. and I have a keen eye. I can't speak. No, for I've Chris. seen, I've seen them, but you have exquisite taste in sneakers. <laughs> what's your what's your what's your top three what's your go-to's oh my go-to sneakers yes i i do love sneakers um i could let's say let's say shoes in general because like you could throw tims in mm-hmm. there if you want to and like, <laughs> okay like stuff like that you know what i mean okay um damn that oh that's <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm putting you on the spot. Damn, I'm making you pick that, three. That's a that's a tough one. I I love sneakers, man. I don't you you're having me pick three. Ah. I would mm. I would definitely say um you can't go wrong with with Nike's, you know, with with a nice pair of Nike's. I I love my Nike's. Um I want to say Jordan. <laughs> Nike, Jordan. Um, damn, what sneakers do I got on right now? <laughs> nah, these these are just uh, Nike, Jordan. <laughs> Ooh, Darnick. My nephew says Darnick. He doesn't say he doesn't say Darnick. He says Darnick. Mm. Um, darn, Vans. Vans. I'm gonna definitely. I'm gonna definitely go with the Vans. And you know what? I I think that's that's a cheap shot, but I mm-hmm. I just love all my sneakers. I really do. And I had to throw a third one in there. But Vans. I feel Come like on. you could just rock them with anything. You could scuff them up and and just rewear them and rewear them and rewear them. And I yeah, love a true. I love a sneaker that 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 can do that. That that just you know that can do that. A brand pretty much that can do that. Mm-hmm. Ooh, they Ooh, definitely have Vans a on, but they look like um, But yeah. I don't have favorites. So I just... I'm going ones, twelves, and thirteens. Those are my go tos. Nice. Nice. I like that. Nice choices. <laughs> I got out of the sneaker game. Yeah, I got out of the sneaker game. I'm not I'm not picking. Those uh sneakers sneaker if I if I continue down the path I was on, I was gonna ruin my <laughs> bank account. So I, I just stopped while I was ahead. Are you guys wearing any sneakers right now? No. No. Yeah. <laughs> I'm keeping it casual. <laughs> I'm wearing sneakers. I'm wearing Reebok classes. Classics. Oh my god! I actually, I actually just Hold bought up. a pair of Reebok. Yo, nice. I'm wearing I'm wearing Reebok too. Do you see these? Nice. Yo. Damn. See. It's I think meant Reebok's to be. making a comeback. No, hell yeah, absolutely, they are. Absolutely. They definitely are. Reebok is the making a comeback. The classics are comfy as hell, too. They're so comfy. And you could kind yeah. of scuff them up and get away with it, too, so. Yeah. And they're they're not that pricey. So. No, yeah. No, not at all. That's, that's, the, that's the best part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Seriously. Um, seriously. But, no, I we got to do this. Like, we definitely have to do this. Create content. Um, I love this. And, and I just, you know, I thank you for... for spending time with me and inviting me on your podcast absolutely um you know i i think this is great and what you guys are doing is fantastic i love your work i love you guys you guys are awesome um we go way back and and Mm. it's just dope like creating content spreading love positivity and um yeah i definitely want to you know 
do a podcast with you guys soon. So Absolutely. let me oh, know. Yeah. We'll have you on again. Let me know if you're down because I'm yeah. down. And also keep killing it. Keep doing the podcast. Uh, I, I look forward to the episodes. So when they drop on the Spotify, I get excited and I'm like, what, what gems, yeah, are, I got, what gems I got am like I going to learn followed. today? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. You're my top podcast. So keep thank it up. you. Thank you very much. Thank keep you. Keep killing the ASMR game. Uh, I want to see a million million views next next month. <laughs> yeah, let's let's hope let's hope for that. I think I think you're right there. So just keep it up. Thank keep you very working. much. Yeah, for real. But also also I know like mental health and everything. Sometimes we need to take a break. So don't always feel like you know you have to put stuff out there at the time. You know, take the balance and then come back strong. Right. Which which I have been. I have been doing yeah. that. So um, I think that is important to just balance things out everything needs balance so mm-hmm. and good luck with the first day thank you yeah, i'm thank excited you. to see that journey thank you so much thank you thank you very much all right i think that's gonna wrap it for today it's been another we're gonna have you on again and then we're gonna recap yes. from where you've gone from then from now awesome <laughs> All right. Sweet. Thank you again. Yes, Appreciate thank you, your, thank you, thank you. Your, your time.